Things not going according to plan for South Korea over in the Asian Cup. They're still on, of course, on track for qualification, but a bit of a bump in the road. Of course, take a look at the situation for them and Malaysia next. That's right, folks. Batman's game, and of course, looking forward to match number three uh, over in the Asian Cup. And of course, South Korea taking on Malaysia. That's in the focus, and we'll talk about that next. Of course, if you know where you've been, smash the old subscribe button. You want stop shot for South Korea and Malaysia and the Asian Cup right here at Blackburn Overseas. Of course, again, a big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. But of course, if you knew, make sure you smash the old subscribe. Your one stop shop for the Asian Cup continues as we look forward to this one. Of course, it is, of course, South Korea and it is Malaysia. That's right, over in Group E, of course. Now, these two sides. Of all lock horns on the 25th of January uh, at the Al Janub Stadium. That's right, of course. But let's remind ourselves, of course, how we got to this point, uh, of course, with South Korea. That's right, qualify as second round Group H winners. They secured their date on the 9th of June 2021. This is the 15th finals. 2019 was the last. They've won it back in 56 and 1960. Your manager is Jurgen Klinsmann, one of my uh, 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 heroes. Of course, Min Jae Kim is your star man. 92 to go the distance. Quarter final was my expectation for uh, South Korea, but right now they've got a bit of work to do heading into this one. Of course, starting off with that uh, free one win over Bahrain, no problems there. But then, of course, a bit of a bump of the road with a 2-2 draw against Jordan, which puts themselves in second spot in Group E. Of course, the group uh, their group fate is out of their hands a little bit, of course. Taking on a Malaysia side, of course, haven't scored a goal, uh, so it should be a win for South Korea. But if Jordan were to win against Bahrain, then guess what? Jordan will top the group and then put South Korea in that uh, bracket for a runners-up berth, of course, which could work out in their favour in the long term when you look at the situations elsewhere in the groups, but we'll talk about more about that in maybe another video, of course. Kim, of course, between the sticks there, that's Kim sung Yu there, of course, we've got uh, Lee Kai Jae, uh, we've got Kim Min Jae there, we've got, uh, we've got here, uh, we've got Jung there, Kim, Kim, Kim Tae Hwan at the back there, Park, uh, we've got Hwang Lee Chan, uh, we've also got uh, Huang In Bom there, we've got Lee Kang Gin, Sung Yung Ming, and of course, up top, we've got Chu Yung Ju Song there, of course. Uh, everyone knows that uh, from South Korea. What about Malaysia then? Coming at you as third round Group E runners up. They secured their berth on the 14th of June, 2022. Fourth finals for them, 2007 was their last. Uh, group stages, though, uh, had been their uh, usual uh, stomping ground. Kim Pang Gon is your manager there with Dion Cools, the coolest name in town, and the star man, of course. 201 to go the distance. Last 16 uh, was my expectation for Malaysia, but I think they are going to crash out at the group stages because uh, they've got a lot of work to do for them to do just that, of course. 4 no loss to Malaysia, to Jordan, of course. 1 no loss, a, 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 a very low blow loss to Bahrain there. Um, of course, no goal scored from, from Malaysia going up against the heavyweight South Korea. It does not look good for them at the moment. But if they are to get a win, of course, that will put them in the discussion. Uh, but I think the head-to-head -head also eliminates Bahrain, eliminates Malaysia. So I think they are done. Uh, of course, take a look at the squad there. We've got Hazimi, Davies, Cools, of course, El Stadal, El, El, El Stadal there, Safari, Wilkin, Rashid, Gan, Josu, Rashid again, Halmed or Halem up top. Of course, that's my uh, expected start 11. Of course, these two sides never played each other according to my eyes anyway. Uh, this will be the first time uh, in recent times anyway. 92% forward for South Korea right now. Uh, of course, just the one blip in the resume. Haven't lost in the last nine games. I guess the Malaysia side back-to-back -back defeats, of course, 42% forward for them heading into this one, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, not looking great for them, of course. No goal scored so far, conceding five. On the flip side, Korea not been that their, their best either. Uh, of course, scored five goals so far in the tournament. It was quite a tally, but also been very leaky at the back in a very, very uh, bizarre situation because pre tournament they hadn't conceded a goal in at least the last four games. So I don't know what's gone right or wrong at the back there. Of course, the bookies' odds have, uh, have uh, South Korea 9 to 1 on for the victory. Red Hot favourites here. 7 to 1 is draw. 28 to 1 is your Malaysia. The public vote is also out there. Of course, been out there for at least just an hour or so. 69 percent have gone with South Korea, 31% have gone with Malaysia, which I don't know why that is. And no one's gone with the draw so far. Could you be the one that goes with the draw? What about me then? Public vote is one thing, the, but the bookies vote or the, the bookies odds is another thing. What about my own gut feeling here? My own gut feeling is should be a convincing victory for South Korea. And of course, a, uh, maybe a little bit of a, a glimmer of, or at least a bit of a, a moment to bast in glory for Malaysia with a goal uh, to at least uh, give them something to talk about. Uh, of course, maybe even take the lead against South Korea will give them a little bit of hope. But I think ultimately the cream will rise to the top here and of course South Korea are a team that should go far here despite their bump in the road so far so for me 3-1 win for South Korea which puts them in the discussion for at least a runners up berth uh, in this group but of course all eyes will be on the other game as, uh, as I think it's Jordan uh, trying to top, to top the charts in a surprise over in this group but until then guys subscribe thumbs up catch you for the next one but until then dudes we're done